let's say example of a, a custom processor class if you want to write a custom processor class how will you write it okay so first of all you will need the arguments okay pipeline arguments so how will you define the pipeline argument uh, you will write a class where you can define your custom pipelines argument like this it will it will inherit the uh, pipeline argument class okay so uh, first uh, and you also have to add the namespace or a reference of a psychonaut pipeline and if you see here the custom pipeline is your uh, your own custom argument and which will inherit pipelines argument okay so pipeline arguments will get uh, inherited into the custom pipeline argument okay and then you can add your uh, uh, whatever the argument you want to add then how does the processor is uh, defined that is the action class okay so you will have a class defined you will define your class and in that you will create a method called a processes okay so processes method get executed when your pipelines are getting executed and then whatever the argument which you have used like created like custom pipeline argument that you will pass to the processor and then in the processes you will write your logic then how will you define your configurations so it we will add a first of all you will add the patch file so in the patch file you it will, you will add it into the site code pipeline and then whatever your custom pipeline okay now custom pipeline you will add as a processor type okay where you will have your uh, class name the complete class name the full uh, full name okay full uh, with the namespace okay class name with the namespace and then your dll okay so this is how you define your any patch file so similarly you are you can define like this okay so this is how you will create a new class new processor if you want to add any new processor okay so this will add into your custom pipeline it will be a custom pipeline your pipeline so one when you see the show dot config you will see one more pipeline and uh, uh, at the end it this will get executed okay so let's summarize so what you want if you write to uh, if you want to write a processor class first of all you define your arguments and for that you have to give, create a class which will inherit the pipelines or so pipeline arcs are the your default uh, arguments for the pipeline uh, for this you will need a reference of sitecode.pipeline okay this is how you will define the pipeline argument second stage is you have to create your processes uh, processor class okay so that will have a process method which will execute your logic and which will take a, a custom pipeline arg as a input okay and then you write your custom patch uh, custom patch which will override the or you will insert a new pipeline also okay so this is how you will write your processor class If you want to invoke the pipeline, then you can uh, uh, write like you, in the runtime. You have to invoke the pipeline, then you can use a core pipeline dot run uh, method where you def you will pa you will uh, provide the pipeline name, okay, and the argument. So this is how programmatically you can invoke the uh, class.